think this is nearly the last one, guilt. Guilt about taking breaks and um, guilt for resting. Okay. Guilt for taking breaks and resting. Um, again, the thing, thing with that is remember that guilt, guilt is the vibration of I need punishment. So whenever you're vibrating with guilt, you're vibrating with the energy of sending out a message to the universe and to yourself that I need some way to punish myself. So the, the one thing to realize with guilt is it has no benefit to prolong it. Um, if you're doing the Feel the Feelings tool, then you don't, call, you don't label it guilt and you just feel out the vibration. But if you, one of the things with guilt is um, the idea that there is a punishing God and so by holding on to the guilt, you're actually doing a benefit, you're making God happy. See, God, want, God needs to punish you, so if I wallow in guilt and beat myself up for the whole day, then I'm actually like, uh, you know, being, being a good person or something like that. So realize, I mean, Hawkins talked about this, you've got the wrong God, you know, the punishing God is the wrong God, <laughs> the wrong God, you're, you're serving the God of punishment that wants you to feel guilty all day and beat yourself up. So that's the, that's the wrong God. So, we, uh, so the, the real God is a God of love. So God, God doesn't really sort of benefit from you wallowing in guilt the whole day and beating yourself up. So it's the wrong God. So one of those things, so I know that Feeling guilt, apart from processing it out through field of feelings, um, uh, but engaging in a story that this is good and I should beat myself up and I'm doing something, I'm, I'm being beneficial, I'm being a good person by feeling guilty and beating myself up for being bad or something like that. It has zero benefit. Processing it out by field of feelings is good. Also, if I hold on and prolong guilt, I will attract things from the universe which um, symbolize punishment. You know, so, you know, if I'm trying to resist the donuts and I go in guilt, I'll probably end up indulging in the donuts because the guilt would say, well, you're, you're worthless, you need to punish yourself. Now, I was a food addict, primary addiction. So literally, um, this is the thing, like I had so much guilt, uh, shame and negative emotions that um, as a, in my primary addiction, like when I had my rock bottom with kidney failure and the doctor said, avoid high potassium foods, you know, bananas was at the top of the list. I went out and bought a, a bag of bananas and scoffed them down and then had a blood test. And I, I was told to go straight to A&E to have emergency treatment for a heart attack. So that's like, I had so much guilt in me that is like, don't eat this food or you'll get a heart attack. And I, on auto, autopilot, I just bought a bag of bananas and put them down. So I don't encourage people to wallow, wallow in guilt, you see, because it, it means you become, in 12-step terminology, you become powerless. You become powerless to, you're in, you're in a field where there's no choice. You know, you will eat those bananas, you will pick up that alcohol, you will eat that Krispy Kreme donut. You know, you cannot stop it because you're, you're just a part of the field and it will just take you in that destructive element. So. Don't feel guilty. I mean, but the thing of like um, again, the thing of um, taking breaks. Um, one of the things is you've got to maintain um, the highest level of uh, consciousness you can. You know, the highest level of serenity and peace uh, in any environment. So that is the thing. You know, like when I was writing my book, I would take uh, regular breaks just to be still my mind and just to connect to the source. You know, because I know that would be a higher vibration, uh, and and that's more important than when the ego starts to track a lot of information, then it, you can lose your level of consciousness. So you want to just let that over-identified thinking go, and just go back into into source again, and that will rejuvenate. The ultimate source of rejuvenation is connecting to spirit, because then you know all the negative beliefs start to get uh, dissolved. Um, and, uh, and everything starts to get released because all the things that are, are being acted out are just your limiting beliefs which you're expressing and when you get cut off from the light. So when I went to see um, Muji and I had my one-to-one -one with Muji and I had a, a white light spiritual experience after I was what's observing your thoughts, it was funny, like my, my gout disappeared, the, the, 
all the pain disappeared, suddenly the day went from dull to bright. And that's what happens by just not being connected to source. It's like all your negative beliefs become identified and start manifesting. And once you start going back into the source, into the light, everything starts to dissolve. So that's the power of releasing um, the negative. Limit. So it's, it's, and it's been said in the group already, taking time uh, to just have your lunch or take a break or just release your thoughts uh, is a good thing because your vibration will go up and you'll be more productive in the day. You know, otherwise, uh, you know, workalism, I did workalism in the stock market, which is like ad adrenal addiction and it, the extreme need to just consistently work because you're getting adre adrenaline high and you can work into the late, late hours on this kind of bus. Uh, but that, the, end, the end result of that was like burnout and, and death in, in my case. So I think the great thing with uh, Hawkins was he did muscle testing. You know, and when you're starting to go into ego or going to negative environments, all your meridians and energy lines are being burnt out. So you're in fear, you're in addiction. So all your energy lines are going off. It'll actually kill the, the body. Will start to deteriorate, uh, and you and you'll start to get all kinds of illnesses eventually, even though you're numbed out with addiction. So when you're doing things from a spiritual, when you're not in workalism or fear or anger or thank you or any kind of um, any kind of acting out then all your meridians will be in line and you'll be connected to source and so that's sustainable over the long period of time so you want to be like if you're in fear in addiction in guilt in shame then your meridian lines are blocked but as soon as you're connected to source you're in peace and love uh, uh, or in serenity or in acceptance then all your energy lines are open and you're, you're, you're channeling a high vibration. So, so it's okay, take those breaks because those breaks, and you don't feel guilty about them and, and just connecting or just taking some time for meditation or for a rest or for lunch, that's going to that's gonna tune you in. And you're also going to be of more of use to the universe because you entering into a negative vibration with others has no benefit to the group you're not serving the highest good because you, if everyone's in like the rat race and you just enter their vibration in the rat race it, spiritually you're not really doing much good even though the ra rats like other rats and that's probably the wrong expression isn't it but people at the certain vibe, like if everyone's gossiping in the office and you join in gossiping with them in the office I mean they might be happy but it's not really it's not really a service to, to the universe so if they're slagging off someone and you join in the slagging match so you're just holding a good vibration in there is, is of a higher good and it will benefit them even though they might not like it. So feel, yeah, feel good. You don't need to be guilty to take breaks and it's for the highest good.